My name is Kai Wolf. I work for Google as the Access Field Development Director. What are TV white spaces? Well, TV white spaces are the frequencies that the current transmitters uh, are not using that are protected for those transmitters for the television broadcasters. But at any given time, even in the most congested markets, not all the allocated channels are, are used. There are guard bands that are not used, which came from old legacy technology on broadcasting. So if you have an intelligent setup of a frequency database, you will always have markets where there are white spaces, white as not being used of, of uh, television uh, frequencies that you can use on a secondary basis and the good thing is those frequencies are in the low frequency band so they have long reach they have good penetrations through obstacles like trees and mountains and and houses maybe not a full mountain but a smaller hill mm. uh, so you can you can provide a useful service without having to go very very high with masts or to have many many transmitters at high costs out there why is TV white? Why are TV white spaces important for emerging markets like Africa? Um, since it's a secondary use spectrum, um, it's a very efficient way of using that spectrum in a in a low frequency band without having the need of reallocating current services, which comes up with a huge cost. Because uh, many of the discussions that were held about freeing frequencies are all about new transmitters, new allocations, new technologies, while TV white spaces can make use of the current infrastructure that exists in, in broadband, uh, in, in broadcasting, and work as a secondary service underneath it without no need of new regulation, new allocation of frequencies, new transmitters being put out for, for the television broadcasters. And since it's low frequencies, it carries long ranges, and it's therefore very useful to connect the 70% of Africans that are currently not connected uh, by other technologies, 3G and so on, which are mostly in the, in the urban areas. Google has carried out a series of pilots globally. Give me, give me some idea of what the, where those pilots have been and what they do. Well, the one we did in, in Sub-Saharan Africa was in Cape Town. We did, a, we did a pilot in Cape Town. We did some pilots uh, around universities in the US to basically prove out the case that even in a very congested area with a lot of television stations, like Cape Town is a very, very dense area for, for television broadcasters, uh, that you can provide a useful broadband service over a long distance without interfering the slightest bit with the, with the television stations. So we connected a few schools in Cape Town to, to just prove it out because you need endpoints where you're not only trying it out, but you're providing a useful service while, while you're trying it out. Um, it's a little bit the database that provides you with the information about uh, what frequencies are being used or not being used at any given time. Of course, you can make the logical argument that you don't have to try it out in, in physical environment. But since the equipment is new, you have to validate what you see a mathematical model against the physical realities. And this is what we did in certain areas very successfully. It's a sort of argument in action, isn't it? Yes. And why is Google doing all this? Well, my job is to create users and usage. We believe that we should enable everybody to be connected to the Internet. My job is not to push specific products, specific agendas. My job is to give everybody in the world access to the unlimited resource of the Internet so that people can be on the same level when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to development. Um, so any initiative that drives usage and users is something that Google will support. And if everybody says that frequency is a scarce resource and the reason we are not developing in certain areas is because there is no frequency or we have to wait, then if a technology comes along that allows today the deployment of a useful service without having to shift around other services, why wouldn't we support it?